and this is after i mix the vocals teri yaadan vich yaadan vich dekh din raat tere I'm Azim Usman and I'm excited to present the first behind the mix video from my newly launched mixing and sound design studio. In this session I'm excited to dive into a recent project that hit over 1 million YouTube views within 2 months for the artist Kalam Inc all the way from India. I've been working on a lot of Indian projects lately and this is a stand out. So guys, join me as I'm going to break down the advanced mixing techniques that I used to bring this track to life. Let's start. So as you see this is the this is the project and uh, there's a lot of stems. Uh he sent me this vocal layer. Yaadan vich yaadan vich fasda reya tere dhoke no loka ke sine hasda reya. So that was the only layer that I got and what I did was um I created a harmony um using that main vocal layer. This is how it sounds. So when you play both together this is how it sounds Wait let's bypass and see how it's how it sounds So after I enable the one that I did you tell me what actually sounds better Teri yaadan vich yaadan vich fasda reya tere dhoke no loka ke sine hasda reya teri yaadan vich yaadan vich dikh din raat teri yaadan vich yaadan vich dikh din raat tere sare gham mere So over here I did a panning uh, for this part If you are listening from a, if you're using a headphone or if you're listening from a good stereo speaker then you will notice how it pans over here So before that what I wanted to do was like you know um rather than just keeping the intro empty I just did something. So there's more elements going over here. So the reason why you see this as consolidated is because once I apply an effect, what I do is I turn that into a wave. And there's another one. kind of a reverse effect for the vocal so all together it sounds like this teri yaadan vich yaadan vich fasda reya tere dhoke no lo mera dil de ke ja dil me tum se better dil ye humko milana jo so i have done the same thing over here like you know if i remove this So it's blank over there so what I did was like you know I used an effect and this is what I created so like you know once this word na that na word ends it finishes with a different effect so when I play it together even here it's blank so like when when i enable it and here the part called and i pan it into left and right so when i play it together like in you know, a first i will just bypass it with this So it actually sounds good. Let's see what I have done here. So 
So I use this hey word and I created this effect over here. So over here, I had just one layer which sounds like this. No, I'm sorry, this. So I used that vocal layer and I created a harmony. So when we play this together, this is how it sounds. Does that sound good or not? Uh, let's just bypass the harmony and see how it sounds. Now let's listen to it with the harmony that I created. was the stock plugin that comes with FL Studio called Newtone so you guys can even use Melodyne or whatever that suits you but for me uh, the stock plugin actually works well uh, it's just you just have to be creative you just have to like you know think out of the box and come up with new ideas so that's a delay that goes like you know left to right Right, so let's go to the next step. So I have used tape stop over here, like you know, if I just like just bypass that, this is how it will sound. So I think with the tape stop, like you know, it gives a good effect. So so in uh, two different places, like you know, there are two different uh, delays. Like one is a speed one, one is a slow one. So in this word, when this word ends, the word called dala. So that's how it sounds, okay? And when this word, when it comes to hey, the delay is actually faster than the previous delay. So this is dala. It doesn't matter even if the delay sounds or not. It's just like, you know, even if you keep it subtle, it actually gives a good feeling. It, it fills the track. For those two parts, what I did was I applied some choral effect and then I added some additional reverb than the one that I have applied on top of the main vocals. So there were more elements over here. So what I wanted was like you know, to remove them and to give more space for this word because like it actually sounds really, really good. So I used a sample like, you know, from my end, from one of the Kashmir sample packs. So it sounds like the song is bringing you closer and pushing you away. And over here, in this area, what I did was, they, I took the entire instrumental starts from here up to here. 
I added a tape stop. So it sounds like this. But when you reverse it, this is how it sounds. And when you play it right before this part starts, this is how it would start now. So this is before mixing the vocals. And this is after I mix the vocals. Before the master. And this is after mastering the project. So when it comes to using effects and using uh, plugins, it differs from one project to another because not all the projects sounds the same, right? So to give the proper treatment for Kalaming's vocals, I have used the NS1 from Waves, I have used the Sooth 2 and also the Silk Vocal and I have used the Fresh Air, I have used the Vocal Rider, I have used the Magma from Waves which is the BB Tubes, I have used the Pro DS and I have used two tube compressors from Teletronics and also I have used Autotune, Coral, Simplon from FabFilter, Replica, Movement by Output, Alter Boy, Timeless from FabFilter. So this is the behind the mix of Telia Danwich song by Kala Mink. You can go to my Spotify playlist, Mixed and Mastered by Azim Usman, then pick a song and comment below. If I have the project, I'll show you a behind the mix of that song. And you can go to www.azimusman.com if you want to learn more about my services. If you are looking to get your track mixed or mastered, you can visit my website for rates and packages. Contact me if you are ready. So see you next time with another Behind the Mix. I am Azim Usman.